Hey guys, it's Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today we're standing in a brand new 2022 Outdoors RV Blackstone 250 RKS in the Titanium series. Now for those of you who haven't seen all of my videos, be sure and check out an older video. It's the Titanium versus the Mountain series. I'm not gonna go too into depth on the differences right in this video. I'll point out a few of the features, but if you wanna see all of the upgrades you get on a Titanium, be sure and check out that video from about a year ago. So today we're gonna to showcase the floor plan. We're gonna look at what this looks like with the slide outs in, give you a few differences between this and say the 250, uh, excuse me, 260 KVS for comparison purposes. And then we'll walk you around the outside to show you where all the drain valves and everything are located. So as you can see with two opposing slide outs, this is a very spacious floor plan. It's a rear kitchen. So a lot of people do compare it to the 260 KVS Blackstone which you would walk in a rear door and it has all the big picture windows. We have a video on that model as well. So this one, what people would choose this one over the 260 is because of the extra cabinet space and the extra pantry, which I will point out. Where the 260, most people choose that model if they really want all of the windows. So to start off in this slide out on the door side, you're gonna have theater seating or you can sub in the sleeper sofa one thing to note is when the sleeper sofa is made into a bed, it does block um, this walkway right here to the bathroom and the bedroom a little bit. Norcold eight cubic foot fridge. Again, the pantry in this model with the light, that's what a lot of people love about this unit is all the extra storage. Because it's a titanium, you're gonna get the stainless steel appliances, but you're also gonna get the fancier stove which the oven, you no longer have to reach in and light it with a lighter. It actually has an ignition button. You get the glass cooktop. Now be sure when you are cooking to fold that in half and flip it all the way up. Don't try and cook with half of it down. Sealed burner range. So if you drop food, it's not gonna go down and in here where you have to try and clean it out. It all stays on top. A knife rack in the back. Lots of counter space deep upper cabinets so there's a again there's a lot of storage in this model a really wide drawer as well as a bank of three drawers over here the spice rack a deep cabinet here as well as a big enough location under the sink to actually put a trash bin a lot of people ask me where do i put my garbage can this one actually has a spot and under here you can also see two access panels to get to the back of your water heater and your uh, water line drains for easy winterization. Two outlets, two 110 outlets right here for easy access to plug in a coffee pot or anything of that nature. Over here, you're gonna have the mountain dinette that comes standard in all of the outdoors RVs. This does also make into a bed. So if you opt for the theater seating over here and you don't get the sleeper sofa, this will still make into an, a very large bed. Because it's a titanium, you do get the blackout shades, the slow rise blackout shades, as well as hardwood trim around the windows, around the slide out, a little bit different two-tone interior decor as well. On the 250 RKS, you also have the option of the fireplace. This is 110 only, it's not a gas fireplace. You can run it as a 110 heater alone. You can run it with the flame and both. So you can do flame without heat or with it. They do, in almost every single model of the Outdoors RVs, they do the largest 12 volt TV that they can fit. CD, DVD player with Bluetooth. And then your access uh, to like your controls is actually right here in this cupboard, which is kind of nice because it's hidden and out of the way. So you've got all your slide out buttons here. You've got your water to heater switches, water pump, etc. We option in the 12 volt heat pad on the fresh water tank as well. So that button is in here. On the titanium, you also get the remote. So because you have a remote, you can run all of the slide outs, the awning and everything off of this handy little remote right here. So that's a cool titanium feature as well. They've added a coat hook right here or you can hang your keys or a hat right when you walk in the door. Now let's go take a look at the bedroom. Sixty by 80 queen bed with the upgraded titanium mattress, the upgraded titanium window, upgraded countertops on both sides of the bed, as well as under cabinet lighting and 
night light and reading lights that are directional. So you can point them directly at your book. This particular model includes solar on the roof. You can get one, two, or three solar panels installed from the factory. They use ZAMP solar, which is made right here in Oregon. And so you can do up to 510 watts on the roof. That's a really popular option is to do solar. We also option in the Max Air Deluxe vent fans in all of our units. So you're gonna get one over the bed, in the bathroom, and typically in the kitchen. It depends on the length. If it's gonna come, the smaller units come with two, the bigger units will come with three. Right here, you've got your emergency exit window, where in like the 260 KVS, you're actually gonna have the wardrobe slide. So that's another uh, difference between the two. Because it's a titanium, you're also going to get the 12 volt uh, TV with the DVD player in the side, and that's on a swing arm, so you can move it around and watch it from bed. In the bathroom, you get an extra large closet here that you could use for linens or additional clothing. A drawer, access to your outside shower, a sliding pocket door from the bedroom, a glass shower enclosure. Because it's a titanium, it has the underslung stainless, stainless sink with the solid surface countertops, as well as the vanity mirror. Solid hardwood medicine cabinet. Towel hooks. Porcelain toilet. And another thing to note is that Outdoors RV puts a heat duct and an air conditioning duct in all of their bathrooms, which might not seem like a big deal when you're shopping for a trailer, but trust me, when it's really cold or if it's really hot, it's a really nice thing to have in your bathroom. So as you can see with the slide outs closed, I can still squeak through to get to the refrigerator, get back to the kitchen, to the pantry. But one thing that I do always like to note is that we don't want you to step up here on the wood of the slide out. You want to try and squeak by and just stay on the linoleum. And then with the, this middle door, you can also access the bathroom easily. So if a person needs to use the restroom going down the road, or if you want to stop and take a nap, the bedroom and bathroom is very easily accessible with the middle door. So here on the outside, the 250 RKS is a single entry door model, triple aluminum step, extra large grab bar handle. Standard on all of the Outdoors RV is the Off-Road X4 suspension package. So Outdoors RV, if you watch some of their other videos, they put on really big heavy duty axles, but they also do the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, the heavy duty shackles with greasable zerts, the KYB off-road shocks, and then they come standard with the Goodyear Endurance 16 inch on a Blackstone load range E tires. Your slide out has your refrigerator in this model. So these are the two exhaust vents and ventilation for the refrigerator. The awning is very long on Outdoors RV models. They try and use the largest awning that they can. It has the aluminum wrap it's all electric and because it's a titanium, you can run it off of the remote. It also has a center support. One thing that's standard just on the titanium series is the backup camera as well as the backup lights. On a mountain series, we can add the backup camera to a mountain series or a backcountry series once it hits the dealer lot. Access to your furnace. This is the big tube ladder. You need to get up to, on your roof occasionally. We recommend every six months to check your roof sealants. So you wanna have a nice sturdy ladder. I should also mention that these are a full walk-on roof. So they are a trust roof system. They put in extra insulation, but they're a very heavy duty truss that are also made here in Oregon, but it's a full walk-on rubber roof. Access to your water heater, satellite and cable hookups. This is where you would twist lock on your um, power cord. This particular model is 30 amp. You can order any of the Blackstone models with 50 amp service and pre-wired for the second bedroom air conditioner. The second air conditioner, they don't put that on at the factory, but again, once it gets to us, we were, we're able to put on the second air if it has the 50 amp service. It has to have that 50 amp service to have the power to the bedroom air. 
One thing to note though is that you will lose that max air fan because it goes in that same exact hole. This is where you would hook up to city water if you were staying in a park. Because this is the titanium, it's going to come with the auto leveling system. You've got a rear kitchen gray valve right here, so this is where you would hook up to that. So two tanks on any of the rear kitchen models. So you're going to get double gray tanks. This is where you're going to hook up, excuse me, not hook up, but this is where you're going to put your hose to fill up your 80 gallon fresh water tank. This is access to your black and gray valves so that you don't have to reach way under there. It gives you easy access. They also give you a light right here in case you need to uh, work right here and it's dark out. This is your black tank flush. So once you're done with the black and gray dumping, you can rinse out the black tank right here. Outside shower door with an insulated um, one inch thick door. A lot of trailers out there, they tell you they're a Four Seasons trailer. Their, their door on their outside shower is a quarter of an inch thick. I mean, there's no such thing as a true Four Seasons trailer that has single pane windows and an outside shower that's exposed. So Outdoors RV makes sure to do all those little things that other people just haven't thought of to make this a true cold weather or hot weather coach. This is access to your pass through uh, luggage compartment with magnetic catches. Standard on all of the Timber Ridge, Blackstone and Backcountry series, you're gonna get the full fiberglass cap. This wraps all the way over the nose of the trailer so you don't have a seam right at the edge. It wraps all the way over and up onto the roof. As you can see the front windshield, this is what it looks like from the outside. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks. Everything comes standard with a power front jack. Again, this one is part of the auto leveling system. You get this little caddy right here to hang your safety chains, your seven way and your breakaway cable on when not in use. This particular model was ordered with the four battery rack. Because they have additional solar panels on the roof, we're also going to install uh, four six volt AGMs on the front of this trailer. Here is the access to the front storage compartment. As you can see, this is all finished. It's all insulated up under the bed rubberized diamond plate. You have controls up here too for your auto leveling system as well as a light switch for a light that's in the compartment and your battery kill switch. And that is our Blackstone 250 RKS. We appreciate you watching our videos on all the different floor plans. As each additional floor plan rolls off the line at the factory and they come in, we're going to be putting out new videos hopefully every week or two. So be sure and subscribe so that you can see which model might be best for you.